Hello, St. Luke, St. Luke family, our friends, our well wishes. This announcement time here at the St. Luke Christian Church, where God is with us, seeking to save. It's another day God has made, and I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm going to just rejoice. God, I thank you. In spite and through, involved with it all, the Bible gives me confidence when it says we are conquerors in all these things because the joy of the Lord. I don't know about you, but it is my strength. I believe there's someone bigger than my predicament than the circumstances around me who has already weighed my day, evaluated it prior to me entering it. Amen. And knows what's along that trail that I must charter that day and moves those things that would destroy me. Not that I want to count anything, but I won't encounter anything that God has not low tested to make sure it's not too heavy for TC, thank you, Jesus, and his children uh, to deal with. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. That passage is powerful and is very, very strong. It speaks of the day that Jesus was rejected and crucified, but the Lord had made the day and he knew that his son would endure we get through that day, and Hebrews tell us that because of the joy on the other side of what he had to go through, he endured it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right. Uh, it's announcement time. Announcement time here at the St. Luke Christian Church. Glad to, you allow us to come in your home. You're with us in this in this hour for announcements. I always start with coronavirus, and the data is not given as quickly or daily as it once was. Being given, we're still at, uh, at 48,949 cases that have been um, reported in Madison County and um, 603 deaths, 603 of our fellow Madison County Huntsville brothers and sisters have died. One tenth month old child died in the hospital of the coronavirus. It's real, it's serious, and it does not uh, discriminate. Amen. It doesn't do that. In Alabama, there have been 776,000 cases. Our fellow Alabamians have contracted this virus. It's the last report. And of that, 13,460 have died. Now, Hear me when I tell you that I believe these numbers are um, not the actual, but as close as they give us. It's what they give us right now. That's 13,460 Alabamians. And the news is that in 2020, I want you to hear this, 2020, there were more deaths in Alabama than there were births. First time that it happened in recorded history. More people died in 2020 uh, than in any time in history. This this virus doesn't care about our arguments, doesn't care about our suspicions, doesn't care about our trust factor, doesn't care about our politics at all. The virus is trying to live uh, and doing. we are allowing it to do so by not working together. We could stamp this thing completely out the people would just realize that God has worked a miracle in, 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 a, in a drug uh, that was developed in about a year, maybe a few more months than a year, but it was warp speed. Man said it couldn't be done. The, the scientists, all of them, and I've followed this since March, since I landed from Orlando here in March, being told that there's going to be a shutdown, I need to hurry back got back, um, and I've been watching this for our congregation every week, going through the paper, going through the computer, trying to find the validity, the information being given out, watching and, and getting the data and trying to share that data with you because I wanted you to be updated. Let me just share, share this with you now. Um, Remember, I told you we weren't going to be the first one to jump out and take any, any drugs, any shots in the vaccine. I meant that. We didn't. But when I felt like it was safe after I saw uh, some black epidemiologists, some black doctors, um, and heard them, it, it gave me a reassurance that, 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 that we have an eye 
on this ball ourselves, not like it used to be. There was a time when we didn't have people who looked like us in those places. And some terrible things happened, I admit that. But I thank God it's now and not then. And so uh, we'll be we'll be doing something on the 2nd of October. We will have here at the church um, a vaccine clinic. The American Health uh, Services will be here. They'll have the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, there'll be a $50 gift card to the first 100 people who receive uh, the complete vaccine that's being supported by a number of, of agencies uh, and, and people. Uh, the North Alabama Pastors uh, uh, United for Change, North Huntsville Community United for Action, the Greater Huntsville Interdenominational Fellowship, uh, Rosa Park uh, Committee, and of course, the St. Luke, uh, that social working church in the, in on Sparkman will be, uh, it will be housed here and we will uh, help to make sure that things go well. We'll also be giving out some sanitizing soap uh, that day, uh, six bottles per carton. So what we want to do is encourage you to work with us to get rid of this virus. Don't work with the virus to get rid of us. All right? And, and let me just give you this. Around the United States, there have been uh, 42.4 42. million cases out of the 331 million people. 42.4 million have con contracted the virus and 679,000 of our own American citizens have succumbed. And we know many of them. We know many of them. It's sad. I do this. I do funerals. And I see families trying to con be comforted and console one another in this environment. And it's especially hard when you're at a case where someone who refused to take the vaccine for whatever reason, um, the ambivalence was they contracted the virus and died and loved ones stand there crying i hear them saying things like why wouldn't they take it i tried to talk to them and in fact i've heard many stories of our brothers and sisters in the hospital moaning and groaning and crying wishing that they had taking care of themselves. And those of us who have pre-existing condition, all of the data shows that if we contract the virus, it, 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 it does us worse. So so we'll, we'll be doing some things to try to dispel and debunk uh, those things and encourage people to, as one of my fellow preachers said, uh, act responsibly. So we also want you to keep in, in prayer our own Deacon Monson's mother, beautiful 99-year-old sister, uh, passed and will uh, be celebrated um, this weekend. I believe it's this Saturday to keep uh, the Munson family uh, in prayer as they celebrate the home going of uh, a daughter of God. We thank God for her life and her legacy. Also, our own brother, Henry Freeman's father, um, left, uh, transitioned earlier this week, and I want you to keep uh, the Freeman's family in, in, in your prayers. Also keep uh, praying for Brother Nathaniel Fletcher and his mom. Uh, that's the father and grandmother, our own sister, Lakeisha, Lakeisha um, Lanier, Lakeisha Lanier. Keep Brother Charles Hall and Brother Charlie Burris in prayer as well as Michelle Woods, Mother Willie Ellison, uh, Mother DeVance, Mother Pat Flowers. Uh, she's certainly a symbol of how to handle life when life is trying to handle you. Keep the joy of the Lord in your spirit. Mother, Mother Foreman, keep Mother Foreman and keep our own Sister Cunningham in your prayers. And all those, our seniors, listen, don't forget to pick a senior and call them out and let them know that you remember, you miss them, you love them. Uh, pick, 
pick a senior, let's make sure we keep in contact with the Deacon Ellisons and the Jacksons and and all 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 of our seniors. Let's make sure we love on them and let them know that we are there for them. There are programs coming up. The Circle of Sisters uh, going to uh, have facts about foster families, foster love, foster hope. Um, and Sister Asia Crawford will be leading that conversation on the 23rd. It's a Zoom event uh, starting at 6 p.m. Um, facts about foster families. And so you want to participate in that conversation. Also, Girls Gotta Have Fun game night. That will be Friday, 24th at 6 p.m. And it says the virtual doors open at 6 p.m. If you want to be a part of that, you can call uh, our congregational care number at 256-652-6018. If you don't already have the Zoom information, or contact Sister Yvette Talbert or Sister Claudine Johnson. A call here at the office. We'll make sure we get that information you're welcome to attend both of those events, Circle of Sisters Facts About Family, Foster Families, and Circle of Sisters Girls Gotta Have Fun Game Night. All right. So we're getting ready for our midweek Bible study. Listen, I know there, 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 there are a lot of people who don't trust, uh, who don't have any faith in, who or suspicious of, and I understand that, I understand ambivalence, but if we want to get out of this environment, we got to recognize that our enemy is trying to attack us all, and it's bigger than man. Amen. It's, it's bigger than man. I believe God is at work. We can look up and live. Amen. We can look up and live. We can take advantage of a miracle that God has presented before us. We, we, we say we want to see God at work. We've seen him. Well, do we know what we've seen? Amen. All right. You be blessed. We thank God for you. We're looking forward to uh, the word of God. Be blessed.